Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. In this video, we are going to set static IP address and we are going to create internal networking between the virtual machines using VirtualBox. So previously we installed VirtualBox and we created two virtual machines. One of them we installed Windows 10, another one we installed Server 2019. So already I have both of them up and running. This is the Windows 10, our client operating system and this is the server 2019, the uh, our server virtual machine. So by default in installation, it's basically using NAT configurations. If we go to the virtual box manager and one of the virtual machines go into the settings. So under network, we can see NAT configuration. So both of them using internal network adapter and having internet connection. If I open up command prompt and then ping, let's say Google website, we can see it's going through. And it is using dynamic IP address. So if I go to the settings of the network adapter, we can see here, obtain IP address. And same thing here, ncpa.cpl, it opens up network connection window, right click our network adapter, virtual network adapter, I should say, right? Right click virtual network adapter properties, and then IP version 4 properties, obtain IP address. Okay, so we want to use static IP address. And before doing that, it's better to change the configurations going back to, um, well, you know what, let's go ahead and turn off this virtual machine, shut down this one, and let's turn off this one. Of course, server will ask question, why do you want to turn off your server? Because this is for log purposes. And let's click continue, it's shutting down. Okay, going back to our virtual box manager. Okay, so the first, let's uh, go to the settings of PC1. PC1 selected, settings, and we want to go to the network. Now next, we want to change the network address translation to internal network, and then under advanced, we want to say allow. So allow all, and then click OK. Same thing for the server, selecting the server virtual machine, settings, going to the network, changing NAT to internal network, advanced, making sure allow all is selected and click OK. Now let's go ahead and turn on both of the virtual machines. Okay, let's log in, control delete key, right? That's control delete. Okay, so here in the title bar, we can see PC1. This is our client operating system and server operating system. Okay, so, well, first let's go ahead and change the IP addresses. Here we can see actually, now it says no internal connection. On Windows 10 virtual machine, click start type ncpa.cpl and it opens the network connections window. We can right click properties and then selecting IP version 4 properties. So as we can see by default, it's obtain configuration and under alternate configuration, we can see automatic private IP addressing selected. Basically, if there is no DHCP server to assign IP address, automatically this virtual machine will assign a PIPA address. So right now we wanna use static IP address. So we have to change, use the following IP address. This is Windows 10, let's use class C IP address 192.168.1.10. And um, we don't need uh, any default gateway or DNS yet because um, this server, it's not DNS server yet. It will be, we will install DNS. We will use this server as um, DNS address here. And default gateway because this is internal networking, so we don't need default gateway address. So it's our uh, intranet, right? For the purpose of default gateway address, if we want to go to another network, so using through the router, right? Which most likely router's IP address, getting to another network. Right now, it's internal network, so just using static IP address, using the following IP address. I'm using 192.168.1.10, default subnet mask for class C, 255.255.255.0. And then click OK and then click Close. So we have static IP address on our Windows 10 virtual machine. Let's close this window. Now let's go to the server. 
we can do the same thing ncpa.cpl or right click network connections status icon open network and intranet and if we scroll down network and sharing center and then change adapter settings so we can right click properties IP version for properties use a static IP address this is server 2019 let's say 192.168.1.19 using same class C IP address, 255.255.255. So the first three octets, that's a network. The last octet, that's the host. So for Windows 10, we are using .10. Server, we are using .19. So the first three octets are exactly identical. Therefore, they are on the same network. And we don't need default gateway. Okay, let's click OK. Close. Let's close these windows. All right, now we should be able to ping. So if I open up command prompt, 192.168. Oops, what happened? So ping 192.168.1.19. Let's ping from client operating system pinging server. Now let's ping from server. Ping 192.168.1.10. So from server, I'm pinging the client operating system. Let's see. Request timed out. It's probably firewall or um, yeah. Let's go ahead and open network and sharing center. So under change advanced sharing, network discovery turned off. Let's turn on network discovery. Fault print sharing. Save. Basically, network discovery makes your computer discoverable on the same network. Going back to the server, up arrow, ping 192.168.1.10, and now we should be able to ping. Thank you so much for watching. This was an example of creating internal networking between virtual machines using VirtualBox. Thanks again, and you have a good day.